to um, our section, True Success. Um, in True Success today, the topic is, this is really, really interesting because most of us want to learn this. Uh, what are the top 10 leadership qualities to be a winner, to be successful as a leader? Okay. Um, I found this information on my sourcesinc.com, and it, it, it is very in, important that, that you take note, okay? especially if some of you may not even know that you're a born leader and you have certain qualities, and, and once you find out, then you can go out there and say, hey, you know, I can be a leader because I have those qualities in me, okay? So um, this is, this is uh, some information that they found, okay? Earlier this year, uh, leadership development consultant Jack Singer and Joseph Folkman, okay, published a, a, the results of a study, okay, they conducted on the skills that leaders need to succeed um, in their current positions, Okay, what do they need to do to be more successful? They asked more than 330,000 bosses, peers, and, sub and subordinates to rank the top four, uh, uh, um, you know, the top four in the list of 16 key leadership skills. Okay, what are the, comp uh, you know, the information that they got out of the, this, uh, the 16 key leadership skills? Uh, after working through the results, okay, Singer and Folkman came up with a ranking of the leadership skills that are most important for success to become a winner, okay, to become successful as a leader. And here they are. I'm going to share them with you. And I think you're going to really be impressed by them because I was impressed by them. That's why I am uh, sharing, sharing with you this. Okay, number one, number one. And I always have believed this in leaders and I think it's really, really important. But they say, inspire and motivate others. Inspire and motivate others. I believe that. I think as a leader, you have to learn to inspire and motivate others because you are the head. You are the person that's taking action and their people are looking up to you. To, to be the leader. So um, great leaders create vision, okay, um, of the future, okay, uh, that is vivid to them, that is vivid to them, and, and they have to be the example as leaders. They have to be the example. They have to be compelling, okay, when they motivate others, their employees, their co-workers, their, you know, you have, as a leader, you've got to motivate others. So I agree with that. I, I really do agree with this. Um, number two, display highly in high integrity and honesty. Okay. Why is this important? You know, sometimes you think, oh, well, this is, this guy is a leader and, and maybe he doesn't reflect, uh, integrity and honesty. Then you're not a good leader because you won't be followed by anyone because people notice, they know when you're having integrity and you're being honest and they respect that. And that's really important. So I do agree with this. Um, great leaders are honest and transparent, okay, uh, and have high integrity. They do what they say they are going to do, okay, and they walk the talk, walk the walk and walk the talk. They don't just say, I'm going to do this, and then they don't do it. Or they, and they, or they do the opposite of what they're thinking or they're, what they said they were going to do. So that's a good leader. Okay. Um, the, uh, apparently, this, this CEO, this uh, um, uh, Umqua Bank uh, CEO, Ray Davis, said in his book, Leading Through Uncertainty, okay, um, he, I'm quoting him, I always tell our people that they're entitled to get the answers to every question they have. That doesn't mean they're going to like the answers, okay? But it's going to be truthful, and I know they can deal with the truth, okay? I know they can deal with the truth. So what is he saying with this quote? Okay, he, he is saying here 
that no matter what, as a leader, you got to tell your employees, your coworkers, your your peers, you know, somebody higher than you, your, you know, you got to tell them the truth. You, they may not like the truth. You know, they may not like it, but they will respect you for it. And and I, I do agree with that also. Okay, number three. Number three, solve problems and analyzes um, issues. A leader always is looking to solve problems. I mean, and, and they have it in them, you know. They're always finding ways to solve the problem, and, and they fix it. They fix it. They know how to get around it, and they know how to fi fix it. And, and they analyze the issues, and then they go out and, and get it. Ultimately, leaders are recruiters trained and chosen to solve organization problems. Okay, according to this um, uh, source.com, uh, inc.com, I'm sorry, um, this is what they say. They're always recruited. When they see a good leader, that's the reason they have this leader, you know, either management or whatever, because that's, they need that. They need to, for them to solve the problem. And take advantage of the opportunity to marketplace, okay? This requires not only excellent analytical abilities, but also above average people skills. You have to have people skills in order for you to go out there and say, let's solve the problem, okay? And analyze, let's analyze the issue and solve the problem. And again, we go back to, we go back to what we talked about first, inspire and motivate and display high integrity and honesty so that you can, people can listen to you when you're ready to solve that problem and, and analyze the issue because they're gonna respect you for it. Number four, drives for results. Drives for results. Okay, what does this mean, drives for results? Some people are happy to sit back and relax, you know, and watch others do the, the job, okay? While those aren't, you know, great leaders, you know, have a higher level of, perf uh, of uh, perseverance. They have a higher level of perseverance and drive than most anyone else, okay? And they can be counted on to get things done. Exactly. I, I agree with this 100%. You know why? Because you got to be the example. You got to be the example. While other people sit around and let others do their job, the leader's always doing something. It's always getting things done and working hard showing that he's active, that he's doing the things, you know, that he's getting there. And, and you know why? That's why as leaders, they, they go after, they have to be an example because once you see someone, and how many times this has happened to you, where you see someone in, in your organization or uh, at your job and they're working and doing things, you can sit around and do nothing. You feel obligated, obligated to do the job that you're supposed to do because that leader, that boss, that person that's, that's being a good leader is, is setting the example of working hard and, and being perseverance and doing all these things that they need to get done. Okay, so number four is drives for results. Number five, communicates powerfully and prophetically. Okay, in other words, they communicate with, with power. They communicate with power. They... Um, they don't wait for other people to tell them they can communicate. You know, they communicate, you know. Great leaders communicate with their people often. How many times you found people and bosses that are not good leaders and they never communicate properly? They don't communicate properly at all. You're supposed to be guessing, you know, guessing what they're supposed to be thinking and no. They don't communicate. And here it's, it's talking about great leaders communicate with their people often and in a, a variety of different ways, okay? Whether it's by means of one-on-one -on -one conversation, team meetings, blogs, uh, 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 blogs posts, email messages, phone or Skype calls, okay? Or any other such media, they'll find a way. <laughs> leaders don't talk about communicating. They just do it. They just communicate and let people know 
that they, are, they, they need the job done, okay? They show that integrity in communication as well. Okay, number six, builds relationships, okay? Builds relationships. Okay, uh, business uh, is built on solid foundation or relationships and trust. Without these two things, you can have a business or at least not success, a successful business anyway, if you do not build on relationships. You know, it's so important to build on relationships um, because people start caring about you as well and coming through for you when you build those relationships. You get to know other people and, and their needs as well. It's so important to, to um, think about your boss or somebody else that, that maybe it's a need and, 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 and you, you're, you're, you know, you're sharp at, at knowing when other people um, need your help, okay? So let's, let's build relationships, that's, a good, that's good, building relationships. Number seven, displace technical or professional expertise, okay? Displace technical or professional expertise. Most leaders start out in business with a specific skill, okay? And it's true, such as selling or accounting or designing software. You know, leaders always have mm, good qualities and good skills, or they build their profession to have good skills. You, they're always learning something new, always learning something new. Okay, so you have to always, they maintain a, stra a strategic outlook necessary to guide their businesses to, best, uh, to the best future possible. So they're always learning. Good leaders are always learning. Okay, number nine. Number nine, develop others. Develop others. The best leaders set aside time and money in their budgets to develop their workforce. That's, that's really interesting. I like this because it says that, you know, it's so important to develop, you know, to think about, you know, I need to develop my people and I need to set aside enough money to help them as well. They look for the most promising employee and provide them with the training they need to become their company's next generation of great leaders. A leader always looks for new leaders. A leader always looks for new leaders, to build new leaders, so they, they don't have to be the only ones doing the job. That's good. And then number 10, innovates, okay? They innovate. By that I mean is they're always looking for creative ideas. They're always looking for things to do that become interesting for the rest of the employees or coworkers or people. Okay, so they innovate. The ability to innovate is a key skill for every leader. This is what, what our, we found. Okay, great leaders see the change coming on the horizon. They're always looking up higher. What, you know, there's changing in, in the atmosphere. There's changing in the technology. There's changing. This is what we need to do. Okay. This is how the direction we need to go. Okay. Hey, Steve Jobs was a great leader. He was always looking for new technology, new things. He wasn't the one, the expert, but he found experts to help him. Right. And, and he became, look what he's, he did for humanity, for the world by creating all this innovation and coming up with ideas to innovate and people even though they said no it can be done how many innovators have been out there that they the the you know learning that there was uh, you know light and you know computers and all kinds of things so hey you know a good leader innovates uh, great leaders see change coming like i said in the horizons and they constantly push their organizations to be the right place when those changes happen. They have to be there to create that change. I know I gave the example of Steve Jobs and Steve Jobs created a lot of things, but there have been a lot of leaders like that and, and that have created great things for, for humanity, you know, because they innovate. So, hey, those are the 10, 10, the top 10 leadership qualities to be a winner, to be a successful leader, okay? So I hope you took notes because this is very, very important if you're looking 
to be a good leader in be a success in your endeavors as a business person or in whatever profession that you have, you can be a good leader. And these are the quality, the top 10 leadership qualities that can help you. In this section of True Success, I hope you learned and you took note and found uh, something good for you to take note and definitely apply it in your day-to-day life.